Let's build a skeleton for the arm. Go to the top view. Reposition the body so you have a good look at the left shoulder. Create a new bone. Name it deltoid underscore zero one underscore L. Now rotate the bone so it runs down the middle of the arm. Create a keyframe to lock it. Move the bone over the shoulder. Create a keyframe to lock it. Let's scale the bone down a bit so it's easier to work with. Go to the front view. Move the bone up to the middle of the arm. Create a keyframe to lock it. Scale the bone, making it very tiny. Reposition the bone to the spot where the arm should rotate. Create a keyframe to lock it. Select deltoid underscore zero one underscore L. Add a child bone. Name it biceps underscore L. Scale up the new bone so the point reaches the elbow. Rotate the bone slightly forward. This will act like a hint to the IK, making the movement more reliable. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. With biceps underscore L selected, create a child bone. Name it forearm underscore L. Rotate it so it runs down the middle of the arm. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Scale it down so the tip reaches the wrist. With forearm underscore L selected, create a child bone. Name it hand underscore L. Resize it so the tip pokes out between the two center knuckles. Check the front view to make sure the bones are running through the center of the arm and hand. Now that we have them in the position that we want, we're going to split a couple of bones. Select deltoid underscore zero one underscore L. Select split bone. Split the bone in two. Ignore the weight map assignment box and ignore the IK disables alert. Open the scene editor to select the tiny bones more easily. Find deltoid underscore zero one underscore L underscore two. Rename it deltoid underscore zero two underscore L. Select forearm underscore L. Select split bone. Split the bone in two. Ignore the weight map assignment box. Find the bone name forearm underscore L2. Rename it wrist underscore L. And that's the first part of the arm. Ta-da!